hey guys welcome to another video in the previous video we ended up here uh, customizing our dashboard and I said that I'll customize this section uh, behind the scene and we'll continue but then I just changed my thought and said why not to change it in a video and just uh, you can learn how to uh, customize the components as well so customizing this sidebar I'll, I'll come to the sidebar file that we created in the last video and we just um, one thing we place only one thing here inside and remove the rest from the file uh, coming to this you can see that uh, we have a div inside that div uh, we have this nav link if you if you want to add more links uh, we can just copy this section and paste it under this and change the contents of it and we will have uh, more links uh, let's say what is actually this one this is also not a tag as you can see um, it looks uh, it is uh, it is a component so which component is this when we come to components folder we can find it here nav link so this is the um, like we can say structure that we have to put the x and after that the component name so when we get here x nav link we find this file uh, this file navlink.blade.php and uh, for customizing that certainly we have to come to navlink and we when we come here we get uh, classes and the a tag all we have here so for customizing here we go the first one if the tag is or if the uh, link is active it means when we are in the uh, when we have clicked this menu this menu item or this link it should get uh, these uh, classes and if it is not then we have to uh, see the effects of these classes so for changing the uh, designs so i'll say that when the uh, menu is active so it should have a text uh, no text gray of 900 but 100 let's save it and check it here now you can see that that is active one thing more that i added another nav link here in my sidebar and it is not uh, showing under the previous one but it is showing uh, side by side or in a row so i can just come here and change this uh, it is the display is flex for our navigation bar but i will say flex call to change uh, the direction of this one to column now it is under the uh, above one so with that let me change the uh, name to posts let's suppose here you go and then i can change this hidden one and this x all of this let's change all of them and just put a flex and flex call for the navigation bar here you go so now as it is looking that both are active because the route for both are and the same as dashboard that's why both are looking uh, the same but we can change uh, here uh, request is route dashboard and i'll say if route is post then just mark this our enabling active now this one is not active only the dashboard is active so uh, it is easier now for us to customize the navigation link when we when the navigate when the link is active we get such a design and when it is not active we get like uh, this one the below one so we can change the hover actions everything here the text is written like gray uh, 500 i will change it to gray 100 when it is not active so it looks uh, pretty like the same previous one and just make it a bit uh, let's add some padding as well to our nav links so here we can add them here inside this single code let's say padding 3 whether it is uh, mm, an active mode or it is not active mode so we can add padding you can see that previously also they have given some it is written some padding on the x-axis and from top and bottom this thing so i'll just uh, add some to them padding egg on the x-axis should be two and from top it should be two as well and the same thing for the uh, none not active time let's refresh here you can see 
that we get such a style mm, the next thing is let me add some uh, just change it to not ptpy painting from top and bottom and let's see what we get here and as well as we can add some padding to our um, uh, div uh, parent div like padding 2 for this one here you go now it is better looking better and now it is time to uh, talk about the routes what are the routes in uh, laravel actually uh, whatever url we type here or we click and uh, request uh, through the anchor text or links uh, in laravel we face the routes and routes are responsible for directing uh, our request so if for, for example if you are logging and we request a link um, we may get the request result and response but if you are not logging we may not get the response or request and uh, let's see uh, let's say if uh, we want to go to a certain page and we just request the page but we don't have the routes defined in laravel so again we will not get the response and there will be a no route ex uh, and a no route exception so routes are actually the traffic police and they just they just control where to go or where not to go uh, where we can find them uh, we can just come to we can uh, the under the resources folder we have the routes folder and in the web section we have this all the routes here uh, in the first or second video i just i just came here and changed one thing here but uh, uh, later we just uh, reversed that here we can define uh, different routes for different uh, pages for different so it actually works that when we request a route we just go to we come here to this web.php file and if there's a if there's a route for that request so we will be redirected to our uh, request page and if there is no route so we will not be uh, redirected to that page as simple as that uh, let's uh, suppose we want to go to our post page first thing is that we have to create our post uh, blade page and then we can handle uh, to the handle the request via the routes that is the very first thing so uh, um, with that said let's go to our resources folder uh, in the view folder and create a new uh, file called posts.blade.php let's say only post.blade.php it will be the uh, main page for our posts and we will list our posts with this one so i'll i'll use the layout for the dashboard for this one we had x master layout and i'll use copy this one and paste it here and instead just change the title as posts and uh, here as well uh, welcome again the posts uh let's say uh, let's okay uh, now we have to define the route to reach this post.blade.php suppose let's say we want to but if you write here something posts we don't get we say that and uh, not found because we don't have any route for this request so we'll come to the routes and web.php file here and we have to define routes routes are uh, actually uh, uh, as the same as the request we have post request we have get request and for the updates we have puts the same thing so we want a get request for to get to our post page so we'll say just posts and uh, here we now we only want the view so i'll not use the get one i'll just use the view uh, uh, route option route view it means that return this view to the route which route will put in the first parameter let's say posts if i request the posts page so you have to return this view which view post only post 
post. Laravel is keen and sharp, and it can understand that when you use the view, so it will uh, it will go to the view and take this view, which is post post dot play dot php. And actually, you don't need to type the extension extension as well. Only just that's okay. And now when we come here and instead of dashboard, I just write the post. Let's say posts. Okay, we got the posts view here. You can see I changed these things here. Uh, now with that said, we can uh, just say and name it. Uh, we need to name our route. That is that is maybe because we have an option in our nav links in our uh, sidebar actually layout star sidebar that when the request is post actually show the active now it is not showing active uh, or, uh, or options here because our route route is posts let me save it and come here and change it to post and we get error that is because oh something inconvenient here okay. again we did not get that one so let's add a name to our route let's say name it as uh, post the name makes it easier for us to use this route so let's again refresh it and now we got the uh, uh, we get that uh, underline and to indicate that this menu is actually active when you click to dashboard a dashboard is active and click to post okay so post is yet not the route enough. we just we only can get now the post option by the typing of the url but if you want to this menu to work so we have to come to our sidebar and change the href route to the post here you can put the name of the route that you have given here but if you have not given any name here so what to do that time that time you have to use href instead of this one slash post this is as simple as both are correct if you just use this one that will be also correct and you can see that uh, that is not it is not taken and okay let's say post so let's save it okay uh, let's change it to post it is post and now refresh here and again click on this one you can see the url post and we are now boom post so uh, working with, with this CRUD application we will learn uh, we will learn about other route types and other request types as well and this was it for this video thank you so much